pretty much welcome to the last on earth under the burning suns. Now I just have to find my phone so I can actually watch the chat. Just a moment. And yeah, pretty much there's, there's one big scenario left. Then the final, the, the real final, and then just uh, epilogues, basically. So yeah, I, I, what do I want to say? Yep, I can make it in time f uh, for finishing this uh, this campaign before 1.16 comes out. Barely, but it is good enough. Anyway, let's go. Out too much fanfare. Let's just go. Chapter 11 Our boats slipped softly through the water, shrouded in a pre-dawn darkness. At this mo moment, the Merfolk would be launching their divisionary attack. But the fact that we had not encountered any resistance was still eerily disturbing. Ahead of us, the large island boom, boomed, dark and menacing. In the end, almost all of my people decided to join in this final battle. I was surprised. They'd gone through so much, and yet they still had faith in me. Looking around at them, I could not help noticing how many familiar faces were missing. Barely a fourth of those who set out with us on our journey had survived. If I had known it would be this bad, would I have ever left in the first place? I thought Elo was protecting us and guiding our steps, but in truth it was all me. For better or for worse, I've no one to blame but myself. Zul is right. If he had come all this way just for a chance to help the Merfolk defeat Yechnagov, then our journey was not in vain. We were searching for a new home, safe from all the horrors and death of the desert. desert. But now the struggle seems more important. Could these islands possibly become a home for my people? It is a prospect too wonderful to, do, to dare to hope for. But, the end, but in the end, that is not what is driving me. All I care about is vengeance upon her that did this to us. Garak, Keratur, Tansafal, all those poor souls we left behind in our village and the many who have marked our path with their blood, they all shall be avenged. This conflict is greater than just us. These lands were at once places of beauty and hope. The great empires may be gone, but, but still, people struggle to survive. As grim as it, as it all seems, there is still some beauty and light left, hidden away. I will not let it all be swallowed by a second darkness. I do not care what happens to me, but I pray to Elu, if she is even listening, that if I die, then I die making these lands a better place. Please, may this not all be in vain. Where did this com fog come from? I can't see a thing. Fog and darkness cloud this place, but we can use it to our advantage. The other ships will be safe hidden out in the deep water. We should find a fort before we land the rest of our people. I do not like the idea of landing everyone without a fort to protect us. Shrouded by the fog, they will be safe for the moment. Once we find a place to rally, rally our people, we can bring the rest of them in and start fighting in earnest. I think there were some human ruins in the, <clears throat> the uh, some human ruins in the southwestern part of the island. If you can ex if you explore the land to the west, then we will swim through the shallows and see what we can find. That is a good plan. First, find a fort, then we can explore the rest of the island. So Kelly must capture a keep. A battle for the Octonal Isles. So can I actually go there yet? I technically can. But I don't want to. As they said, we are going over there. Ah. 
I don't get it. All we see are ruins, bones, some sand and patches of grass. I thought we would be attacked the moment we set foot on this island. Where is everybody? That's what worries me. I keep thinking that something is going to jump out from behind the next rock or stone wall and attack, but everything is silent. Too silent. Okay. So I know that if I discover this keep, it will trigger a fight. So I'm gonna not do that just yet. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna start that fight, like, yes. You trespass on holy ground! The one says you must die! Phew, <laughs> little one, you are not worth our time. We are the queen of elves. Flee and trouble us no longer or we will squash you like a bug. No, you are not the one. You know command Borhid. Attack! So that's where the people we were waiting for, the ones jumping from from a wall. And those guys... Whoops. And those guys are just one of the enemy. Okay, let's... Just give me a moment if I kinda mess this up. Because I had the demog mode enabled from previously. Uh, from from previous scenario where I was uh, checking things. And I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to see them all. So let me just see. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to be able to see them all. I can see this all. Okay, then that's okay. Uh, whoops. Right, of course that's the first one. Now we want to be over here. Then this guy has some income now. That's not that great actually. So my priority is taking this keep, which is why I'm gonna attack this one first. The Saurians are no danger to me at all, at least not during the daytime, and it is daytime, which why well, I was so totally rushing this. Um, so yeah, I can just rush them. My death matters not. The one will kill you all. None can resist her. I say good riddance. He was creepy. See? They are not exactly a danger to me. Then let's kick this off properly. I've captured the keep. This castle is somewhat ruined, but it will serve our purposes. Now, I wonder where the merfolk are. Fear not, here we are. We've explored the southern half of the island. And, ex except for those lizards you found in Summerborn and villages, it seems to be empty. We captured those villages for you to help support your troops. Thanks, I think we are going to need all the support we can get. Now that you found a fortress to protect with people, we can bring in the other ships. There they are. Good, now we can start recruiting and recalling our warriors. Of course, with so few people left, training new warriors will be very difficult and expensive. But if we lose this battle, then what use will gold be to us? None. Now that we set up a base of operations, we should make our way to the Black Citadel in the mountains at the center of the Isle Island. I bet it's somewhere in the middle of the Dark Jungle. In our explorations, we found a group of reinforcements who were sent to help you, compliments of Miluzand. You can recruit him into service at your base, if you wish. We may not be u much use to you on land, but we will protect you against any threats from the water. Thank you. 
I'm sure the reinforcements will be yet very useful. So reach a black citadel and a scent of the castle. That's the goal for now. Shame. So I'm gonna take that village and nothing else pretty much. So my goal is pretty much over here, if, if you can see it on the minimap. Uh, but there will be complications, I can tell you, you about them later. Then for now, I want... No, they can take up to two of my villages, I should consider it. I certainly want a healer, of course. And I... so cat mod, I want my sun sylphs so much, like... Where are you? You're tender and have. Then I'm also going to get one, just one mermaid initiate. And I would like this Queen of Mystic so I can make another Sun Sylph. I really should have started doing that last scenario, but I didn't. Or in one of the previous scenarios. I but yeah. Now or never, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah, that should be okay for now. So yeah, they attack him, so they're not taking any villages. That's pretty nice. What's that strange screeching sound coming from the jungle? It's nocturnal pests. Oh yeah, I did not miss those guys. At all. Then, no, is there some way I can... Oh yeah, I can. I'm gonna go do this, hope that I hit... A... Okay, I would like to hit exactly once. Probably not gonna happen, but whatever. Also, send them over. Okay, let's finish this one off. That's not going the way I would like to. Okay, that's a hit, and that's hopefully hit too. Yes, and there we have my level up. Perfect. So the undead are arriving from over here. Knight is arriving as well, which is not great. And those guys are so annoying. Also, the Naga have arrived and are also going to attack me. Basically, no good news to be had right now. And this guy can totally arrive, whatever. Hi. And this guy. Or at least try to. Off. Okay, there's one over. During the night time, I probably shouldn't quite dive in yet, but I will. I do want to be ready to dive into this fight. That's for sure. So I'm putting those guys to the front because they're ranged units, and I've got a healer next to them. Um, if they get poisoned, they can be healed immediately. And they have a they are good at resilating to this kind of damage. Okay, he's still alive, that's good. Oh I hate those dire rough rides. Also ouch. This one especially especially is good at resilating to range damage. It's odd. Why did those pets suddenly fly off? They must be nocturnal. Possibly. Would be a pretty good explanation, frankly. Then I want to get rid of this guy. 
now. Not later, but now. Preferably while killing this one, but that's kinda optional. Oh, so I've got enough gold for exactly 5 recalls, which is nice. But no more than that, so let's choose wisely. Mini Mogul, of course. Icky Toad as well. And then three more level 3 units. Okay, let's get my Outrider, my Marksman, and one more unit. I guess it's gonna be your Razan. And now? Now I'm gonna make my heroic stand here. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna hurry the hell out of here and try to kill an enemy leader. Because if I just stick around and do nothing, I'm gonna bleed out pretty soon too. So let's not do that. Instead, I'm gonna hurry over there. Okay. I wonder what they're trying to do there. I do not. And let's go. Like the idea is some of the enemies will come from over there, but if I run away from them, they will have a harder time catching up to me and a hard time dealing damage to me because, well, they have to play catch-ups first. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Like, it's still nighttime, so the whole thing is pretty easy, frankly. Um, but this is not gonna hold. I will at some point run out of money. Uh, I mean, okay, I have already run out of money, that's not what I meant. I will run out of time uh, where I can run away. Like, they will catch up to me, they will attack me from behind, and they will deal tons of damage. And my only hope is staying ahead of them as long as possible, dealing as much damage as long as possible. Also taking them uh, taking them out while they are still fractured units wise. Also, of course, deal as much damage as I can during daytime. It also helps that uh, I have some villages and they, the enemies want villages, so they're gonna go there first, even though it's not that smart. And yeah. Great. This guy is level 3, which is why... Which... why I can't... Uh, no, which is why I consider it imperative to take them out before they attack me. Which went kinda nicely this time. Very nicely indeed. So this is its P for my unit. And yeah, that's actually looking pretty good right now. Like I am kicking a lot of ass. So, and I also have to uh, know, even though I can deal a lot of damage with while doing something specific, doesn't mean that I should be doing it. Like, for example, uh, Kelly has a fire sword, so he deals a lot of damage in melee against Undead. But it also means if I go into melee, they can deal damage back, and that's not a good thing. And I really hope that makes sense to you, because if it doesn't, I don't know what to say. Okay. So yeah, some of the undead are over there, and I don't care, because they are not where I am going, and they will have to play catch-up first before they can do anything about me. Which is pretty nice. Those arcs on the other side are more of a problem right now. Hey, don't try to kill me. Okay, 
complicated was not really smart. Uh, too late to change that one specifically. But I can push off of those guys. And Nah, I, I will have to ignore this one. Okay, that's a shame. But it's something I can live. It's helpful actually that he's that yet he is recruiting uh, hunters instead of other stuff. Because hunters are annoying with poison, but they're not really great at dealing damage. And damage is the thing I'm more afraid of right now. Feel the cold touch of death! Um, I'm gonna say hard pass. Well, as you can see, I'm still trying to somehow stay ahead of all this. And it's getting difficult. So, let's speed this up a little bit. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not gonna expose this one to potential dam potential poison. When it's one of my few units... When it is one of the few units that can heal poison. Okay, yeah, that's... Is... Sort of ironic. And I really love the long daytime. Sure, the long nighttime afterwards will hit hard, but so far it's pretty nice. Okay, this means I've got this one pretty much taken care of, which is frankly awesome and uh, kind of better than I expected. Like, I often try to rush this one, uh, but apparently that's not a good idea. Because it usually leads to me being destroyed by them. Because I... Um, I have to rush too much for this to actually work. Okay, here's my second healer, which I absolutely wanted. Okay, this guy can only attack there, which is also pretty much what I want. Perfect. Like, not... This exact is not exactly perfect, but it's... Still going well, and I've advanced quite quickly, which, which is awesome. Then let's kill this guy first, hopefully. No? No, okay. Then maybe not. So my priority is the enemies in front of me, not the enemies behind me. Uh, because it's the enemies in front of me that are stopping me from advancing. And it's the enemies behind of me that I'm trying to run away from. Like, optimally, I do not have to fight the enemies behind me anyway, uh, because they can catch up to me. But to be fair, that is pretty uh, utopian. Then I will. I have to attack them right there, but I don't quite dare to. Okay, let's do it like this for now. So, this is not a great moment to be stuck here because it's long night is starting, and the enemies are trying starting to catch up, and some of them also basically moved ahead of me, those guys, who took the direct way over to me instead of the long route. Add the bats to this who will pretty much always find a way to attack me because they're so damn fast. And this can get dicey. Oh nice, I'm still alive and healthy. That's nice. That's very nice. And once I'm done with those guys over here, I can actually go... No, no, please, please don't work. Please don't fail. Okay, this was dumb. Like... I gotta admit that first of all. Um, how much damage? 10 to all of them. Damn. 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 
Okay, then let's do this. So this guy is blocked off and will do no harm. Will be very annoying for sure, but will do no harm and that's it. Okay, this guy is gone. Now it's getting dicey. Let's see. This guy first. Because he's blocking me from going anywhere at all. Then this one can reach. Make them reach. Um I could try that, but that very likely blow horribly up in my face. Then let's first of all be willing to sacrifice this guy. Do I move? Yeah, I moved that one over there. Or maybe not, considering that that one is. Okay, let's first of of all move those guys. Damn. Not great. Okay, this is helpful because now I can just keep those guys moving. Yorazan is likely death. Possibly alive. We will see. Then attack this guy because the bats, even if I do not kill them now, they will die at some point. That's pretty much guaranteed. Then let's do it like this, I think. Okay, I would have liked to hit this one, but um, and hi Beth. Yeah. The outriders are the most replaceable units I have right now. I mean technically also the marksman. But the Outrider is less important because I'm almost done with the Undead. That means uh, they are won't be as... The units they are the most effective against are almost removed from the map. Sort of. Yes! I survived. Okay, the other Nagas are catching up. That's not great. But since I've managed to outdistance them quite and quite well like as you can see I'm managed to kill this guy first if anything else happened uh yeah because I managed to do that that's totally fine by me like I would like to avoid fighting them overly much uh, but beyond that I do not worry about them Then, what the hell am I supposed to do? Okay. Remember? Disengage is a nice thing. Pretty useful tool. Let's finish off those guys. Oh, why I have to... Why there's so many drugs? Hate it. Okay, that's one slowed. That's two slowed. That's. Yeah, which one do I have to finish? This one? Okay, maybe not. Then at least place this one in their path. Destroy this guy because he's not slowed. And not slowed, level 3 units are not good. Then Yotender is the one dude who would be able to tank this. So let's let him tank it. Okay, this was perfect. First of all, healer. Uh, placing Cat Bigamot over there is not great because it means almost no healing gets done there. And healing is very, very, very important. So yeah, that was not great. First of all, let's get some vision. 
No one can reach there. Okay, then let's do it like this. And let's hope Nim, Nim survives or is not even attacked. That would be kind of nice. Yes! No, no! Okay, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Like, yeah, I would much rather have lost an, an Outrider than. Uh, no. Yeah, an Outrider and then. Well, Sansa. But replacement is almost finished, so that's okay, -ish, sort of. Ooh, I did not expect this guy. But I managed to survive, so that's awesome. I have no use for Hoplite, Hoplite right now, because that's a purely defensive unit, even a slower unit. And right now I'm banking on a fast, extremely fast offense. Like as you can see, I'm not doing much else, but being offensive, being on offense right now. This guy has to go. That's a problem with those level 3. Die and they have to be. Okay, then how do I reach this guy? By removing this one and attacking. Attacking. Uh, in this case, just ignore. It's just one guy. And if I try to attack them there, you a uh, pretty good chance to dodge, so it would be a waste of time and resources. Resources I do not able to waste right now. And Icky Toad looks pretty much on the last leg right now. Can I get him out of there? Yes, I can. I think. Oh, nice. Slow. No need to slow this guy because he's gonna die this turn. At least that's a plan. Ark! Look, I found a gold key on a chain around his neck. I wonder what this key is for. I bet it will become useful eventually. I just keep it in. I keep it just in case. And it is really sad that I, uh, that I had to use. Um, a slow on this guy because well I don't have that many to go around and oh I think I will have to redo this turn at the very least like, I'm on in a position right now where I really don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get out of and yeah I can't really afford that kind of situation right now Like, I'd actually say I will have to uh, go back to turn 13, uh, because losing that Sun Sylph was fatal. And it uh, lost me so much potential for taking out enemies, enemies I, could, I uh, shouldn't have allowed to live. And without a damage potential, I'm just waiting for a pretty slow death. Okay, for now I'm gonna try and push through, but frankly I'm not confident about my chances. Okay, this one from the field. That's a nice thing about backstab, it packs a huge punch. Then my idea is not to stay here and linger. Um, like that would be sort of the worst case. But I'll see what what this shakes up. Okay, that's pretty fail. I should have gone that with the siren f to first, actually. Okay, 
but I still remember if I uh, see no way to get through this I will go back to 2013 um, because that's where things went wrong when I made a mistake mistake that hurt a lot it's helpful that my mafog are still very much alive and kicking uh, but if I cannot turn this to, to a better situation then it won't help me in the long run Okay, there's more. Uh, kick their butt. So yeah, I do think I have to kill this one. That's why I'm over here. Bye. Risky but necessary. So, and with this, I have recovered by quite an amount. And there's a chance that I do not need to do this whole thing. Because, well, I found pudding. And yeah, that's pretty much all I really need here. Then protect this guy from poison. Heal that one. And here. If I can make it through this right now and ex actually establish myself over here, then I will have enough time to make something. So especially since the Merfolk are alive and doing very well right now. Uh, here. This guy first. Like I basically, I will basically be able to go through them. I'll go through this and um, el alleviate the pressure that's up on. It's over here. And if I can do this, then well, fix will are looking quite well. Good for me. Good. Uh, pretty nice as well, actually. Like, um, alleviate pressure not just by attacking those guys and those guys, but also by taking back villages. So, I will get more income, maybe even uh, get a positive income, and that means. Uh, I, yeah, so I can uh, replace my losses. Let's see what have I lost so far. A champion, Outrider, Sylph, and a flag bearer. Like, what a record. By, d uh, by the way, Rip Mini Mogul, who did die. Even though I was so under pressure that I uh, cannot tell you when or how they, he died. I think it was the, that very turn after a lot of... After my Sun Self died and of course... Um, fractures appeared. I can't say anything specific. What is Absorb? Oh, interesting. So if... If they uh, defend with this attack, they will take less damage. That's nice, actually. First of all, move the hell away from this. Take this one down. This one as well. I don't have to tangle with this guys yet. Pretty much gonna ignore them for now. Like, really, Naga on the island. Oh snap. Well, in that case, kill this one and take that village. And I'm back into positive income. Nice. 
Uh, also, I totally messed up my, uh, my formation, so there's pretty much no healing forthcoming in this turn. So that was not great. So this guy needs healing, so I'm gonna take him out of the fight for now. And just gonna let him take those villages to others. I'm mostly gonna rejoin over there, do stuff like that. Then this one goes over there. Not because they really need a break, but uh, because I want to send someone there to begin with. And they are fast. And that's why I actually sent them over there. I need to replace my units over there so they can actually do some healing right now. Instead of the not healing that's being done. Okay, apparently I managed to beat back all the enemies, for now. Uh, and the only enemies that are going to come in now... Oh snap. Okay, at this point I'm gonna reload and cancel the orders I've given, because the bats have arrived. And they completely change what I would be willing to do right now. Like for example, I was totally willing to uh, send this one over there, but then the bats would have killed him immediately, which would be kind of bad, you know? Pretty bad. Then let's take those villages. For the record, the bats only spawn within the jungle. Like, no, none spawn over here or over the water or on the flat down here. But yeah, it's pretty annoying. Anyway. Kill them as I can immediately. That would be kind of nice. Then this guy needs to be slowed. Otherwise, I don't see much help. Snap. Okay, then first off the bat. Because it's... It's a factor I do not want to account for. I do not want to have to account for. Like, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I uh, to remove to begin with. What are the odds? The odds are not good enough for my... the way I would like this to be. And there is the chance of Kelly dying for the record. Or Nim, but apparently they did manage to make it out there, so that's nice. So that's two beds, three beds, four, and I'm gonna retreat for this turn. Or at least try to. First of all, this guy has to go now. By the very least, get slowed. I said he has to get slowed. Great. Why not like this to begin with? This guy has to go too. Perfect, perfect. Now this one can heal in peace. Uh, help me. A merman. He looks like he's in bad shape. So apparently I can save this guy. Yeah, I totally did. Okay, yeah, I did know about that. But whatever. Then... This guy first. So he doesn't create new problems for me. Then, like I was hoping to kill him there. I knew it was unlikely, but there was a hope at least. Then this guy. Ah, preferably this. Okay. I think this is fine. I I really am surprised that I'm able to recover from from this. Like uh, from that one loss of, of my Sun Sylph. Especially with the other units I died as consequence. I lost as consequence of the, that one loss. But it's looking pretty fine right now. 
sort of fine at least. Okay, that was not that useful as I thought it could be. Just saying. Then I have to remember I still absolutely want to take all those villages. Still need this guy slowed. And I still need this one to remove fight. And uh, this one preferably as well. Yeah, th this shouldn't be too hard. Because of my illuminates, this one fights like it's daytime. Uh, which curbs their damage immenses immensely. Damn, it's this one over there, and that should be fine. Very fine indeed. Okay, the Sea Serpent is not exactly going for my Merfolk. That's okay. -ish. It's not that great actually, but it's okay. -ish. And I'm pretty sure I was at risk there, but I made it through. Then. Huh. This is going far better than expected now. Oh, there's another Naga Hunter. Who cares? Damn. Really, let's take that village. I want all the villages right now. So, I could level up this one if I manage to give them a level 2 or 3 kill. Uh, doesn't really look like there are any available kills like that. I have this one. That is, if I had managed to hit them. Did not, which is not great, but tolerable because of the situation. Then this guy didn't want to remove. Okay, I can respect that. It's the sea serpent. Okay, and I totally need to reset this because right now this is. Yeah, the, the second night, the long night is about to arrive, and I am not prepared. Let's take that village. Let's take everyone down. Let's take everyone down I can while I'm at it. But first of all, run hell away. This one down there. Okay, this is okay. This is tolerable. So sort of. Fun. Okay. First of all, let's save this guy. Also, I'm gonna read this out, then I'm gonna grab something to drink, and then I'll be right back. Thank you. I got captured by the Nagger and have been trapped here for ages. I don't know how long. So close to the water, but so far, I don't know if I could have lasted. I don't think I could have lasted much longer. It was horrible. Well, help us get revenge on the Naga. We are here to destroy Yechnagoth. Gladly. Just let me recover my strength first. Seems like a nice dude. I found a chest in the hold of this wrecked ship. It looks like sunken treasure. So it was pretty much 50 gold, not much, but valuable nonetheless. Then let's get this guy over here just to provide some vision. Yeah, more Nega Hunters, I don't care. This, perfect. Then let me grab something to drink and let's hope that I did not overlook something that would horrible horribly go wrong or anything like that. Like Dead Wolf Riders, for example. Okay, night time is almost upon us, and we still need to run the hell away. 
first of all, let's, let's clean them up this way from the edges. Okay, nope, they can reach and I do not like that. Then this guy obviously needs a healer, but I don't have anyone available right now. This guy can reach far too far, so let's slow him down. And let's take this one out. Also remember, bats are gonna appear uh, in a moment. So yeah, it's pretty annoying. Also, let's remove those guys. So why did I go with melee attack from, from her? Because I would have... I wanted to avoid uh, any chance of... what is it called? Any chance of that one getting poisoned. That's the word. Because that's the only healer I have available right down there. And not having that healer means that I'm very much screwed. Also, nice. Survived. Uh, that was a risk I kind of... And that's what I was afraid of. My best bet is protecting this one as... Much as oh, right. Bad. I hate that part. Uh, my best chance is to protect this one as much as possible. And preventing any attack on them. Uh, while... Okay, this was dumb. And uh, leveling them up by make getting it next in on the enemy. Still messed up. Couple turns to go in this case. I'm spread too far apart. This is Habazard. Okay, this can attack, please. Oh. Yes, only this one. So my odds are not as bad as you think. At the same time, a night time will always mean that I lose a lot of villagers because what am I supposed to do about the bats? It's not like I can stop all of them. At least I do not have the resources to actually do that. Technically I could, but I do not have resources. Okay, that went wrong badly. Oh, that's where the enemy lead is. Good to know. Please leave me alone. Do I, ri I risk this? Yes. And with that I've got uh, this one healed. Sadly, only for turn, pretty much, because... No. No. Okay, uh, now this guy is at risk, even though I pretty much had saved him all. Oh, snap. Then, first of all, get those guys killed. Seriously. Priorities. Get this... better. Yeah, this guy can totally tank a lot. Let's do it. Yeah. Ah. Uh. No. Oh, that's not good. Um, I think those might be my best odds and that's not a good thing. But I made it Oh! No, don't kill them! Perfect. Like, imagine if... No, uh, I was really hoping that they wouldn't kill them, because because they killed them, there was another chance to attack them, and it was horrifying, because whoa, this went off so bad. Badly. This guy is recruiting for my taste.
since this guy is poisoned already, I don't care as much about not getting them poisoned. So yeah, and I'm really spilled up far too much. Uh, let's keep running for now. Damn. Dump. Like, this setback was absolutely not necessary. Uh, that's just a mistake I made, and basically, pretty much. So, the Sea Serpent is luckily very slow and shallow water, so, like, running from that one at least is. Oh, I'm too young to die. What will happen to my people? Whoops. Yeah, that's, that's why I always try to kill them first and always slow them. And at that case, I am frankly not willing to risk. I'm gonna go back to here. Actually, more turn. So I'm here. Um, because I went back how many turns? Nine turns, it, I think it should be obvious enough that, that I'm not gonna tamper with the RNG through this. And yeah. I believe it's fine to do this. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna actually regroup and heal my units. I'm gonna go... S I mean to play this way safer than it... Because uh, what I did previously, in the end it just cost, cost me more time than uh, was necessary. Also, I shouldn't have moved this one over there, but late for that. And night is about to arrive. Actually, let's have him take a couple of villages and then return. Because obviously, the, the whole thing of sending them to rest did not work out. Inside is. Okay. Night time indeed. Uh, let's keep them grouped. This one. Then I would frankly like to just treat a bit more than this and well farm up. I'm gonna take this kill. I'm gonna take this kill sort of probably this one over there and there, I'm gonna place some there, so my other healer gets healed as well. Okay, and this is looking pretty good to me. Like, sure, this guy could attack me, but he all only managed to attack Rock. Oh, come on, really? Why am I so bad at this? Yeah, and that's, that's why those nocturnal paths are the worst ever. Ever. Then, just remove those guys from the field. That's not too hard, actually. Yeah, I want to slow that one. I do not care as much about actually killing them. Get to at least one of those paths from. Oh, we had to hope. Will help me thing. Then also destroy those guy. Take the villagers. Yep, 
And this one is dead as well because I hit bad. Or maybe they might survive, which would be kind of nice. Okay, at least they're gonna disappear the very next turn. Something. Although there's nothing good about those guys. Then try this one. It's, that part is going nice. Destroy it as well. It's hoping for there. It's No need to hurry this. To her. Yeah, I'm gonna move from this one. Yeah, triggering this one was not in my intent because, well, there's no advantage to that. This means I have to deal with more at at a time where I don't not necessarily want to deal with Damn. Let's just take that rush. Also, let's do this guy. Let's keep moving. There's a wall. Do not coordinate. Okay, yeah. They are the disadvantage there, so that's nice. Let's keep this guy moving. Know where I want them. And I should have seen this coming. So the idea here precisely is to defeat them all before daytime is over. With a bit of time to spare, because I also want to treat it a little bit to group up again before daytime or nighttime is there. Remember at night time a lot of bad lots of bats. Not a nice place to be uh, around. Okay, this is going much better than last time, since I've just stayed much better grouped and much better healed. Okay. So I found that gold again, and I'm gonna chase the serpent again as well. So sadly this one got poisoned and cover from his next turn. Uh, but it's okay-ish. So I need the marksman here to actually hit that slayer. Uh, because most units would just miss all the time. That's great. There. This one there, this one there. Yeah, it's daytime, so those guys don't dangerous amounts of damages. And this time I do not re Okay, damn. Kinda... Wait, actually, let's let me kill this guy first. And then reload this turn so I can actually read out what they were going to say. Just a moment. We've reached what looks like the Citadel, but it is surrounded by a huge, perfectly smooth obsidian wall. I can't find any way to get in. Are you sure? Search carefully. The Orc and Skeleton must have been girding some sort of entrance. Wait a minute. There's a tiny outline of a door in the stone, but there's no way to open it. All I see are what looks li what look like two tiny keyholes in the stone. Now I wonder where we might find the right keys. 
I've an idea. I bet Elo has given them to so to those she trusts most. And one Orc and one Skeleton were girding the door. The keys must be held must be being held by one of each faction. I bet Elitis would be in charge of such valuable ob objects. Fuck. So, my goal at the beginning was to make it to the Citadel. I did, but I, I didn't manage to get in. So now, the new uh, scenario objective is to defeat the enemy leaders and find both keys. So yeah, that's where we are at right now. What the hell is this one doing over here? Well, good to know I had no idea. Undo because I do not actually want to tangle with them. This I want. Okay. Then where the hell is where they are the rest of them? Good. And next turn should be night time. Oh come on, you're not really gonna take Okay, he took all the hits, but he did manage to survive, so I'm not gonna be too mad at him. So first of all, what the hell is this guy doing over there? What? Okay, so they basically went around this way to arrive down there. And I gotta say, I certainly did not expect it. What? Okay, this looks fair enough. Then there's that enemy leader, which I would like to take down. And they finally stopped recruiting, so that's nice. Just took them the better part of the scenario. Okay, my marksman is probably dead. Too many bad. Oh, still alive. That's nice. Uh, why? Why does he have so much gold? Why can they? Again, I don't like that. Okay, get rid of this guy somehow. Yep, there are villages, and I want those villages. Then let's see, can I make this? Work? I mean, of course I can somehow make a card. I need to make it work now. Then this guy is. Okay. It's kind of the result I had hoped for. Then. Let's load those guys first. So that at least they won't be able to make things worse than they are. First of all, gotta get rid of this one. Same thing every time. Okay, I managed to at once this guy, so that's nice. And yeah, good. Ouch! That nim is doing a good job right now. Okay, and they at once this guy for me, so I can't do it on my turn. Fair enough, but thank you very much. Then, for the record, a Seep Serpent and an Orcish Assassin are over here. We don't really care because, well, 
they are far, far, far away. And, oh, okay, I kind of want to take the village. I totally failed it. Uh, but that's not that terrible. It's kind of awkward, but it's not terrible, luckily. Huh. I kind of can see this Merman Diviner dying. Uh, I can totally expect it. Okay, let's... Let's go a bit backwards. I want this guy gone. I want this guy so gone. Same with this one. And those guys can go for now. No need to push through this uh, with boards when I can just wait for died. Also, I've got new tender. Tender can totally wipe them out on defense. This guy is still very likely to die. Oh, they actually go for this one, not this one. Oh, okay. I, I can take that. Orchid Assassin is very likely exactly here because this was my village uh, until turn ago or something. And since it's oh, not anymore my village, it means something or someone has taken it. I cleated Orcus Assassin. And I can finally get rid of the second enemy there of this guy. Naga. Wait. Seriously, this is really great. If I go there, I can still reach. If I go there, I can still reach. Okay, so let's just ignore it. Take it this one. So it's at least one of them that can. Then, gotta get rid of this one. Okay, where did the L. the Orkish Assassin go if not there? Confused. Slightly. Okay, yeah, I can leave them the way this they are right now. Uh, there. Yep, this works for me. This works. Okay, there's the C7, by the way. Gary. Oh, there is uh, some trying to kill me. I don't like that. Like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. But at the same time, it's pretty nice that they managed to word. Um, and it from this fight, so I don't have to deal with them right away. Then I really like that. And go to Serration. Still stable, I think, sometimes. Frankly, I was expecting uh, to have to um, rush at the enemy, and so while keeping, by still running away from chasing forces, this is kind of better. Still difficult, but better. Having more time means less mistakes. I will slaughter you all and bathe in your blood. What a nice fellow! I mean, who would... Why would anyone want uh, to harm them? I couldn't understand. Okay. So, it's daytime. Uh, Frankly, that's not gonna matter much for me right at this very moment. 
it's only gonna get interesting next turn on. At this point I kinda wish I had stayed away and for myself being able to recruit. I recall again because now I do have the gold but I have no chance to make any use of it. level up but well that's okay okay this was maybe not the best plan uh, but I'm not in trouble so that's okay I'm gonna move there because I know it's gonna happen once I defeated any leader uh, that's not really cheat, it's just something to accelerate the game. I'm still so mad that I managed to lose two Sun Silves in one scenario. Oh. Damn, let's just... Let's be done with this. No! Look, I found an iron key on a chain around his neck. This must be one of the keys needed to enter the Black Citadel. We found both keys. Now we just have to take them and open a door to the Black Citadel. I tire of all this bloodshed. Wherever Jechnagov hides, we will find her and make her pay for all she has done. So, any unit must reach a Black Citadel, which is why I moved Rock over here. Um, well, yeah, I said we're gonna end this now, but I think I do have the time to wipe out the rest of the enemies on the map. There we go. That would be all. Like, okay, technically there is one Augish assassin over there and one uh, sea serpent. Ah, uh, but really, who's counting? Not me. And with this, Battle of Zog the Node includes, but the campaign is not over yet. So I see that you've finally slain both of my lieutenants. I wondered how long it would take you. We have your keys. You cannot hide from us at now. Did you really think something as simple as a pair of keys was needed to enter and leave my sanctum? The entire thing was just a charade to see how much trouble you would go through on your pathetic little quest. <sighs> your elves are so predictable. Talk all you want. We will have our vengeance. Is that what you want? I suppose I do owe Kelly a personal audience. After all, I've put him through. Well, here's a chance. Come to me, boy, and prove that you have what it takes. All of you others, stay away unless you want a slow and painful death. I will deal with you later. I must go and end this. But first, I want to thank you all for your faith in me throughout this long journey. If I do not prevail, please, then please flee from this place with the Merfolk and find somewhere where you can have peace and safety. My last wish is that no matter what happens, you all live long and fruitful lives. Don't let our sacrifices be forgotten. Kelly, you can't just go in there alone. She'll kill you. I must. Too many others have died because of my actions. I couldn't face losing you, Jim. Now it is time for me to finish it. Alone. May Elo protect you. There will be done. Well, now we just have to wait. You aren't actually going to let him face her alone! Yes, I am. In the end, it is his decision. 
I've saved Historias all this way. I'm not going to let him go and let I'm not going to let him go and let himself get killed now. Nymph Tessa, my darling, you have always been a rebel. But eventually you must learn to respect your leader's decisions. Kelly has made his choice, and if Elo wills it, he will prevail. You see how all our losses weigh, weigh upon him. He would not want us to disobey and sacrifice our lives too. I don't care. Do you think I'm going to let him go in there and fight alone? He be slaughtered. He needs our help. Without us he never would have even made it out of the desert. The rest of you can just sit on your hands and pray. But I am going in there. Curse that girl. She be the death of me. But still she doesn't stand a chance without me. Kelly is one thing. But Nim needs my protection. Alright, I'm going in. The rest of you stand good. If you don't come in out in half an hour, then flee the island with the merfolk. <laughs> Rock not, not going to just sit here while Kelly does all the fighting. Kelly will need strong fighter like Rock. Other elves may be scared, but Grog fear no dark place. Rock just hope there will there still be something there's still something to smash when he gets there. And with this, the next part starts. I'm gonna go something. I'm gonna grab, go grab something to drink. I'm gonna disrupt the stream, and um, let's say in ten minutes. In ten minutes, I will start again playing the last scenario of this campaign. So for now, see you in ten minutes, and please remember to refresh the page. <laughs>